Hi everyone, Siege back here with another Monster Train Tethys video for today. So, last time uh, we were here, uh, we made a run with an Animus of Will and Tethys with, I think, Steel Singer Infusion. And we did manage to win that run. And that was our first winning streak of yesterday and now it's going to be with plinks and the good thing about plinks is that they deal damage which means that they can be affected by conduit here so without further further ado uh, leave a like or a dislike if you enjoy this time of content subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and let's jump right into tethys for today no weird stuff let's just do a good run of monster train today so we are again default stygian exile umbra with double barrel daedalus curse arcus and sap seraph no big problems to manage here just a decent amount of scaling to win the end game so we have ice tornado prismal dust and glacial seal as our starting cards not very happy with that glacial seal but it can do some good things in the early game so let's see what kind of nodes we have for today temple wise we have two and three five seven and eight so five temples decent enough um, no temple in ring four so we are forced to take the infusion in ring five if we don't do it in rings two and three so, ring 8, you have dupe with, sorry, removal with magic shop, dupe with steel shop. Double shop on ring 7, steel shop not that great, magic shop with caves and removals. Ring 6, another magic shop with cave and horde this time, very good late game magic shops. Decent enough. Opposite, that good magic shop on ring 6 is a trinket shop with some money. Plus some money in the middle. So it's fairly takeable. But aside from that, it just has some random health. Which we might not need. Ring 5 is the second dupe of the run. With random money and health. Opposite a very good steel shop. With vortex and caves. Uh, another removal on ring 4. With a horde. Opposite a steel shop with an ombre banner. No, sh no, we have shops in ring 3. Magic shop with health. Dupe with stygian banner. And on ring 2, Steel Shop is aligned, aligned with the Ombra Banner, Magic Shop with the Stygian Banner. Did mention this is a decent incant line. We can take 20 consumes well enough into planks. If we really want to. No good holdover target. Um, remove consume can be a possibility. But we'd have to have some ember in order to run that line. But... They are zero cost in cans in their sense. Only ice tornadoes are a bit expensive here. Plus again, glacial seal costing two for whatever reason that may be. Checking the Dark Forge today, you have the starting conduit, which I like to see. And with that setup, I'm probably going over to the magic shop here, honestly. Playing with Tethys Conduit here. We do have some decent blasts with Ice Tornado on the boss. No random discards. Chillwind is also good here. Um, But I'd like to open myself for a good Conduit line. Normally, you'd like Chillwind here. But I think we have decent enough of a power to muscle through this. So let's take Conduit here. For today is ooh, ooh. improved firebox is good for a possible prismal dust. Forever flame is also very good. Uh, makes playing train stewards a lot easier. Um, we do have five temples though, so there's a high possibility we see intrinsic. So I will take the improved firebox here. Maybe we hit on that on random runs until we hit intrinsic. Uh, grab the money and let's take our first combat of today's recording. Armor 10, unit draft 
low damage combat. Let's take this. Decent enough that we can muscle through this. Links are dead though. Yeah, pretty much dead. Nothing Plinks can do here. Except maybe snipe me a collector. No. No, Plink. Why? No extra money today. Do get some decent incants around here. Might want to blast Ice Tornado bottom floor. Hmm, 16 plus 6 is 22. We take 2. I think I'll blast bottom here. Get rid of that protector so they take less damage. And I think I'll save the Prismal Dust here. Okay. Nice Frozen Lands. Frozen Lands. I think I'll take Prismal Dust here. Take another two. Fine. Um, I'll hold on to Ice Tornado for now. Take some Prismal Dust action on Tethys. And I can blink here. Get rid of Weight of Contrition. Ice Tornado. We take another six. Even with 5 damage shield in the back. Maybe I should have put the damage shields in front here and it would have been a lot better. Okay. I'm fine with that trade. 10 health for a unit trial or unit draft is a good trade. Um, a ping that we currently do not have. I'll take flash freeze here. And... Zero cost incant and feast is nice. Mm, I think I'll take space prism here. Mind collapse is also good, but I do already have um flash free, so I'll take space prism here. And we have a decent incanter here. Nameless siren is good. I'll take her. Yes. Okay, now that makes my teal shop a little bit better. Because I can visit it because I have my encanter already. Mm -hmm. I could find a good infusion here as well. Let's check. Teal shop it is today. Damage shield plus 25. Large stone are not what we are looking for. We have the plus 30. Magic power. I also have the intrinsic. I think I could slap one in Prismal Dust and be happy with that. The unit today is... Ooh. Morsel made. Um, I don't think so. I think it's Crucible Warden. Very good infusion into Nameless Siren. Um, I think so. Grab that. Reroll this. Not so good of units here. I think I'll take a damage shield on the Crucible Warden here. And move on. I think I'll take the Intrinsic. Could also put it on Space Prism, but I'd like the Prismal Dust action here. With the improved firebox, that's a lot of value. And we move on. Maybe we see another unit draft. No, it's money this time around. We can take this. Hmm, so many units. Um, I'd like to hit... I did not. Hmm. Morsel. Warden. Tethys. Rosenlands. Morsel. Um. 
Prismal Dust? Yeah. Okay, a lot of enemies coming up. A lot of plank action to be had here. One. Two. Three. Collector goes middle. And I get damage shield. Yep. Get this unit skilled. We get the money here. That's good. I have flash freeze. I have blink first. I have flash freeze. I have flash freeze. I think we get away from this for sure. Let's try to ice tornado the con conduit. And I think we win this no problem here. I can slap another 3 damage shield upstairs. And we should get through this no problem. Can even tank with a train steward there. And we last through ring through without too much of a problem. Offering token, energy siphon, titan's gratitude are good cards. I think I'll take one. Offering token. It's a good incant. Morsels. I want morsels here. I think I'll take one packed morsels. Good enough. Hmm. Could visit this dupe here. I could dupe the prismal dust for five. Magic shop, no good holdover target. But the consumes are decent. I really want to see an extra unit though. Maybe I see a shark. Ooh, okay. Lodestone totem. Yeah, I like that. Snap click. Dupe. What's the dupe here? Mm. What do you dupe? Let's check the temple first before we dupe anything. A minus two. I think that's too much. Infusion. I can do the infusion now. Go to 45. Because I have no infusion here. Nah, I can. I think I will. Yep, that's good. Caverns, what do you have for me today? Malika, no. So she's going to be bugging us for a while. Okay, conduit, lodestone totem, raid siren. Good ingredients for a smooth victory. Just have to get to the end. I guess a second offering token is not bad. Maybe a second space prism. Maybe I might need the space. Who knows? Okay. Um, Frozen Lance. Warden. Tethys. Prismal Lust action. Yep. Burn it. Ooh, I forgot about the Ember problem there. Okay. I think I can do about that. So it's probably an Ember take next ring. Okay, let's solve that later on. Remind myself, I need to take Ember. Hmm. Let's take Blinks here. Blast. Good hits. Okay, more incants. Good. 
get units skilled. Okay, more incants. More incants. Ooh, three damaging morsels. I'll take it. Play Antombra in front. We're gonna take some hits here. Thing I can do about that. Down to 19. Um, flash freeze. Link. Okay, this one's dead. Swing another four. I think we should make this, no problem. Yeah, we, we have a lot of damage shield here. A few incants should secure this. There you go. Okay, good job, Warden. Well carried. I'd like the trample stone here. We have sap, so we don't really need to bother too much with Siren Song. Let's snap the Umber Stone. More of these units. I don't think we need them. Skip. And take Amber for sure. We go left. Look for multi-strike and whatnot. There's my multi-strike on my nameless Siren. I can snap in this damage shield actually should consider that skip here forge says minus two hmm do i take the damage shield or am i looking for incant armor too i think i'm looking for incant armor too none should I just take this? Yes. Think so. Happy with that take. I think I can take the horde here. Ooh, firestone housing. I like that. There's also iron drop cage there, but I don't think we need it. I think I can snap away the Warden now because I want to show my Lodestone Totem turn 1. Start scaling her as soon as possible. And I think I will cut maybe one train steward. Am I going next ring? Steel shop again. No money. I think I can cut one. Clean this deck a bit. So now the goal is to increase density on incants. Fair enough. I think we can manage that. We have multi-strike. And our unit is very well protected. Tethys as well in the back is protected. Money? Yes, money is good. Train Steward is also good. Okay, for now, we play Borsels on floor, but eventually we stop doing that. Um, I can tank with the Train Steward here, I believe. Enchance Ice Tornado. More damage shield in the back. Ooh, I see Glacial Seal here. I think I should have played that the other way around somehow. Um, I want Damaging Morsels here. Just enough to get the kill. Great job, team. Okay, I see my Umbra Stone here. And I'm dead. Okay, okay. Let's let's rethink that for a hot second. I think I need to put the damage shield on my rage siren here then. Yep, I need to put that on the rage siren. She's not too much protected here. Yeah, I forgot she doesn't incant armor. 
And we're taking a lot of big hits from the trial. So... Okay. Hmm. Chain Steward. Glacial Seal. Incant. Okay. We're good. Taking a hit. 13. Big hit. Might have done that differently a while ago. There you go. We're not leaking anything anymore thanks to Trample Stone. Okay. More incants. Um. There you go. Once you get two of these, they should be a lot better. Drain, Preserve, Guardian Stone, all decent. Um, Tethys Libs with Damage Shields. I think, I think I take Permafrost here, save up a lot of extra spells. Maybe Prismal Dusts. I want Drain here. Not really. Because they're sapping a lot. Let's take Preserve here. Zero cost incant. Another Umbra Stone. I think I take... Ember Cash here for more incants. No, Malika. I don't want to see you today. Go to the steel shop here. Get a little more upgrades. Another multi-strike. Do I want that? Maybe not. Looking for... Um... In damage shield 2? Armor, I mean. No armor. Maybe I should have taken the multi-strike. Remove cards from the deck. Chain Steward 1. Chain Steward 2. Tempo, what do you have? A minus 2. Put it on Trample Stone. Play it as soon as possible. Mm. Awoken Draft Pick. Restore. I think it's Rail Spike. It's definitely Rail Spike with that improved Firebox. Hmm. I could cut one extra unit here. Still visiting the Steel Shop because that's where the dupe is. Magic. Magic. Probably I can visit the Trinket Shop here. Hmm, I want this minus two. Don't think so. We can skip it. Save the money for the trinket shop. Maybe we see founding seal. Or I should just go to the magic shop then. Yeah, probably the magic shop is slightly better. Hmm. Depends. I'll consider later. Yep, we can manage this. Okay, more cells first. Damage shield in front. Can I snipe the collector here? Yes, we can. Can't play Umbra Stone though. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, taking some big hits here. Not enough ember to clear out the floor. Incant. Blast. Okay. Okay, this boss should be easy pickings for us. Yeah, this boss should definitely be a lot easier for us. Need some form of defensive scaling here. There you go. The boss does not even swing. Founding seal... Oh, sorry, not founding seal. I meant... Um, Glacial cell is doing some minor work here. Grab that card. More incants. Magic shop. We have horde. I could take mine jacks here. Yeah, in case I want to play middle. Double stack on that. Yes. Plus 10. Flash freeze. Gets one. This minus one should go into Umbra Stone. Make sure that we don't miss that card, the first draw through. Um Maybe I want an awoken trail spike remove consume. Another 10. Minus 1. I'll put that on Umbra Stone. Make it free. And I move on from here. Caverns says... No. Okay. Money in the middle. 60. 55. 25. Go 75 here. Still decent enough. We move on. Okay. This Arcus has incant chart. Yes? Yes. Twelve damage shield. Then we get a Rally Shard. Let's draw two. Let's start incanting. Okay. Okay, units get killed. Okay, um, do this, do this, do this, draw through, do that, hold on, take one. Okay, let's play Ombre Stone. Hmm. Um, Ombre Stone. Okay. I think we're almost in the clear. Okay, we get through. No damage taken there. Hmm, excavated ember. Rail spike. And can't. Okay, we're good. Yeah, decent enough.
Okay, 17 damage shield should be enough. Okay, one more playthrough. Okay, we win. Okay, just a second copy of these and maybe quick upgrades. Shroud Spike. Can I connect a good Shroud Spike here? Two space, five space have space prisms i think i can um draw power definitely no malika today i think i want to go to the magic shop here got last train steward maybe frozen lands or a blink yes Permafrost. Not sure about that. Maybe I permafrost the Shroud Spike. Minus one on Awoken's Rail Spike. Maybe do the Shroud Spike instead. Reroll. Hold over on what? I'll hold over this card. Minus one on Awoken Trail Spike is decent. Cavern says plus 30. Intrinsic. Uh, I could intrinsic something. Maybe the offering token. Draw through faster. Cut one frozen lands, one blink. Cavern says. Uh Artifact. Thank you. One click. One click. One change of gems. Forge says. Conduit three. Everything is free. Plus 30, no intrinsic. Uh, avoid Ember Drain, turn 1. Mar morsels? Or maybe I just do Space Prism. Yeah, I think we can push through now. 70. 85, get something here. Yes, we move on. Okay, spell shield 2. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Loadstone. Death this. Space prism. Okay, load it up. Trample stone in cans. Goodbye, collector, I guess. Need to incant here. I might leak a lot of stuff though. Hmm. Maybe. There you go. Need damage. Okay. Need more incant. Drop Glacial Seal in. Mm. Do this. Ugh. There's so much damage taken there. Glacial Seer is carrying this run right now. Definitely carrying this run right now. 
Where are they all dying though? Trample, yeah. Trample. There you go. Lot of enemies downstairs. Need to get rid of them one by one. Okay. Final set of incants here. Let's play. Wait. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Huh. Oh. Got to it with a decent number of incants. Good job. Hmm. Second glacial seal. Am I weird for considering this guy? Maybe. I have space. Yeah. Um. Sure. Third Ember Cash. Steel Shop. We want some extra upgrades and the dupe. Damage Shield 3. Spin. Quick. I'll take quick. Okay. It's quick. Lightstone Casing. Spell Chain. Hmm. Spell chain. Hmm. Could spell chain the offering token. It's a lot of extra incants. Pens. Um, I think I should just re-roll this. Sigiled seaweed. Yes. Plus 25. Plus 10. Okay. What's the... Spell chain here. Just a second. A name tome. And then I do my siren. And I should be good. Exactly a hundred. No upgrades to take. I'm happy with where we are. Yeah, let's take on the Divinity and Seraph. Sap versus Sap here then. Okay. First Siren is here. I think Tethys takes the first two damage shield. Then I drop my Siren. Load in 14 damage shield. And then just incant top floor. Yep. Get my second siren now. And then I incant. Then I wait for a big shroud spike. Yes. Um... Place this guy. Okay. 
I need to speed up my incants though. And trample. Need more damage in front. Second guy drops in. Okay, we're sapping everything down. Very good place. Okay, good turn to be here. Seraph. Don't know what you're doing there. You're gonna take a lot of sap for that. There you go. So much sap here. Just click the cards. Click them cards. Okay. Woken's Rail Spike draws us more cards. And one more turn. This guy already has so much sap, he can't even recognize his attack. Ooh. I've almost managed to put Ice Tornado in a default zero cost state. There you go. Divinity's next. I think I'll take this pull myself up with hp 120 shards is fairly manageable for us we have sap we have damage shield turn one we shouldn't die to the divinity okay that is first loadstone glacial seal drop damage shield draw through Divinity set 7. We can further sap that down. I'll hold on to the morsels for now for the shroud spike. Harvest floor is almost silenced out. Let's wait for the mini boss and see what we have for today. What do we have? Chains? Okay, chains is fully silenced. I think I'll play unnamed tome one here. Actually could have waited for that to go on top floor, but not really super important. Okay. Die to frostbite. Can I kill the mini boss though? Um, let's encant here. There's the shroud spike. Okay, no damage taken still. Sigil Seaweed is very awesome today. Okay, let's draw through. Mm 
do this. Is he dead? I'll encant one more. Yeah, he's dead. Next mini boss is late. I think we can manage late quite well. Give me more ember. Like this, yes. That's a lot of life steal. Ah, oh, sigil seaweed, so good. Okay, my other way, one glacial seal is dying. No, glacial seal. There's my second one. Okay, let's try to fix this. I'm losing one of my sirens, is the thing? Oh dear. Maybe I should have given her some damage shield. Okay, I lost one. I still win. No matter. There you go. That's the reason I was looking for incant armor too. There you go. Quick run. 47 minutes. Pretty fast. Blazing fast. I'd say it was a blitz run. Fifty one K, second win, run summary. Okay. So there are some of some things you can better optimize here. Let me just talk about those things. Um, we could have hunted an additional steel shop for maybe the incant armor too. Um, I was looking for that because we wanted a way to give them additional survivability and health. As you can see, the other nameless siren did die because she was not getting damage shields. Um, we did focus our damage shields on the front siren. And together with quick allowed us to save a lot of damage shields. So there's that. Uh, one optimization I could have done here is put the remove consume probably on a space, sorry, not space prism, prismal dust, so that I could repeatedly play it for one or two damage shield. I think that's one of the optimizations you could do in this run to prevent the death of the second siren. Um, I'm not sure if the glacial seal here was a big brain play, but I wanted to deal with the back line a little more effectively. So... Uh, I had the capability of doing, so I added an extra glacial seal here in. Rarely do you see this unit on the floor, but we had the space to play around it. We actually could have played middle as well and maybe save the second siren. But all in all, uh, we're good so far. Wukan's real spec draws us through a lot of cards that allowed us to incant a lot more, a lot faster, which was needed for our rage siren here. Offering token just to draw past a train steward and double deadweights. Packed morsels ended up saving us a little of health with the connection with Shroud Spike. Although I don't think these two were really that important. We could have won the run without these, I believe. Aside from that, zero cost spells, preserve, space prisms, unnamed tomes, ember cash, um... Amazingly, I did grab a lot of these cards, um, three of them, which allowed us to give a lot of incants. And I think it wasn't really a bad play in general, although it might have diluted our cards too much. Although we weren't really looking for anything major inside the deck outside, I guess, Umbra Stone. The rest were really just there for the incants, basically. So yeah, not really punished for triple Ember Cash plays. So aside from that, yeah, we did that blazing fast. 44 minutes, 30 seconds, a very fast run. And with all the explanations we did, we could have cut this down to maybe down to like 20 minutes. Just remove all the talkings and explanations. But that's what we're here for. Um, additional knowledge on the game. And I'm happy to have secured this win for us. So we're up to two winning streaks. Again, eight more to go. Let's see if we can win that. 
But outside of that, leave a like again or a dislike, guys, if you enjoyed this type of content. And as always, guys, remember, see you today. Thank you very much for watching.